How's it going there, YouTube? Well, I uh, haven't had a video here in about 30 days. Been rather busy. Another thing, I didn't figure out your tuning in the house update. But uh, I'm sure you guys can hear in the background there. I got my helper out here tonight. Uh, I guess maybe we could introduce him to the YouTube. Uh, kind of been diddling with the 80 here a little bit. Got some more priming done and <clears throat> figured out my maneuver some back rims and whatnot. So, the little guy's excited to be here. But anyway, here's a little. Hey. You want to say hi to the YouTube fans? <laughs> we don't get shy now. <laughs> this, is, this is Mr. Bennett Oliver here. He's uh, just uh, 13 months old. So, likes to come out to the shop with Dad, you know? So that's good. We got to get uh, young people started in this stuff. So oh, don't get too close to that, buddy. That's, that's dirty. No one to get hurt. Come here. Come here. Yeah, so the 80 here, I got a little bit of priming done on the back. I got to extract this bolt back here. But... Are you going to drive this one when you get a little bigger? Me? <clears throat> Ready to go already. But yeah, I did a uh, bit of priming. Got the top cover all back on. The belt pulley shifter back on. All that's ready to go, so it's just... Got to come around the back side and do the wire wheeling and clean up the tub. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I know. I think what I'm going to do for some back rims, though, I'm going to get some 26-inch uh, W4. 26-inch W4 rims and uh, put them on the back of the UD here because they will fit right on there. And then that gives us a little bit bigger tire too for the back so got plans for this tractor now i think we're gonna use it for a plow tractor uh, i am pretty heavily searching around for an alder plow master uh number 100 plow all right we've got the little guy put the bed now next order of business here in my video i wanted to give a quick shout out to kenny kizzle at the rusty knots ranch here on youtube uh picked up a pretty cool hat that he's selling here they're, they're really nicely done you got a nice leather patch on there very nicely done. So if you haven't checked out his channel, make sure you go over and check him out. I think he's working on a John Deere D right now. Uh, very good YouTube channel he's got. And very, very in-depth restoration videos. If you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you go over and check Kenny out. I'm trying to tear some wrenches out here tonight. Uh, going to give the 80 a bit of a break for a minute. Yeah, I got to clean the other side up still on it. But uh, it should go pretty quick. Because doing the, from the bell housing back was pretty quick. But... Uh, Getting around the engine block and whatnot, that takes a little bit of time, but of course I use that easy off solution. That worked pretty good too, but anyway, I want to get into this 99 transmission to figure out why we don't have any shift. No gears. So, I think our shift rods are froze up, so I believe it's underneath this cover here, because I had, I had that inspection played off before, and I had the gear shifter out before, so I'm pretty sure it's under this cover here. Um... Got to pull the gas tank supports out and disconnect some of the wiring and whatnot. Obviously, not if it's live because there's no generator right now. So, I pulled that off already. I'm gonna scrape and clean us out with the air compressor and uh, let's we'll see what's going on down there. I don't know if I'm gonna have to pull the dash out, and I think I'm probably going to have to, but uh, that's all right, no big deal. It's only nuts and bolts, anyway. Let's see if I get that far tonight or not. I'm also wondering, too, if anyone out there in YouTube land knows, on the later 99s, the four-cylinder style, they have the throttle up on the steering column. Um, I don't know if I can just get that uh, throttle linkage or not, or I have to change this whole steering column box. Out. I'm really not too sure. So if anybody out there in the YouTube world knows, and if that is a thing you need to change that, uh, does anybody have one? <laughs> I think it's a lot more convenient to have the throttle lever up uh, under the steering wheel there. That's not the right steering wheel either, by the way. That's, I think, actually for an 80 or something like that. Should have a big four-spoke steering wheel, so I'll have to find one of those. Or I'll go get a cast iron one like what the 2844 would have. Grandpa's 99 had a cast iron wheel on it, but uh, let's see what we can come up with. All right, we're into the transmission, the big 99 here, and it's wicked big compared to that 80. She's wicked big. Anyway, uh, things look pretty dry down in there. 
And uh, I think our shift rails are our, our issue here because I was just soaked. This is the belt pulley drive here. So when you put that, push this ahead, it'll push this gear forward to lock in with that one, I think. Because you see, when you spin your belt pulley, see how that's turning now? So I'm thinking we're seized up down here somewhere. So that's where your uh, your linkage goes in. There's that rod there, the bar, lever. Goes on the little stub shaft there with the keyway. And then this, uh, actually linked inside the transmission. So I think it's just sticky. I did spray some penetrating fluid on it, but I just broke my can again. So that's not going to work very well right now. But I need to get down in there. I think I'm just going to try to lubricate these shift rails a little bit. You think that one's for uh, number three and number one here, or th one in reverse. See it moving there? Trying to anyway. But I'm going to try to spray that down with some penetrating fluid, see if it won't move. And if not, I kind of wondered maybe the clutch is seized up in this one too, like my 80 was. The 80 actually... Uh, I got the clutch on seized very easy on that. I didn't use any penetrating fluid because I didn't want to soak the friction disc. I just took a little heat with my propane torch and I heated that collar up where the little slide is, where it slides back and forth on the shaft, the input shaft. And I hit it with just a little drop of oil, worked it back and forth, and it's up and working perfectly. So I may have to take this off and look at this clutch, but I don't think the clutch is seized because... I can move that clutch pedal and the linkage isn't bent. That was my first indicator of that ED when the clutch is bent. The, sh the little push rod that goes from the clutch pedal to the, to the clutch, the little lever on the clutch fork was bent. So that was my first indication that we had a cl clutch at you. I guess someone else tried to start it and tried to shove that clutch in and it bent that rod all the heck. So I got it straightened out now. But anyway, I'm going to sign this video off here now. And uh, go inside and hang out with the wife for a bit because it's Valentine's Day today. Uh, this is my Valentine's Day gift. Come out and play in the shop for a bit. But uh, I think we'll come back here some other time. So anyway, if you guys like that little video, please comment, rate, subscribe. And make sure you guys check out Kenny Kizzle here on the YouTube. Thanks for watching.